This is Civic Education 101, guys. We're not paying for this. Just share the life. I'm playing these songs so everybody can understand where we're coming from. Guys, this is for the international community. This is for the international community. Guys, it's for four years. I've been talking about this. We've been talking about this. So what is happening? It is just a revelation of everything that we've been saying over the past four years. So go ahead and share the live, guys. I'm going to let these songs play because I have a couple of videos. I want to show you guys where this whole thing has started. We cannot live in a society where, it, because we speak up against the government, they're going to nurse a grudge, a certain kind of, you know, uh, a grudge is going to be nursed against us. You know, and so the slightest opportunity the government has to come after you, they will do it. And this is what this government is doing. Retaliation. So this is what the international community, I'm going to bring you to perspective, the MCC. All of these people, why we've been calling on the MCC, the Inda Ifatu says, calling out the civil society organizations. That is what I'm going to show you guys. I'm going to make this quick and short and sweet to the point, but I want to show you guys where we came from with the all LAJ saga. Paint a picture for the international community so they can understand that we have a torture chamber in Sierra Leone. Similar to what was going on in the Nazi days, the German Nazi, what they did to people, torture them, employing all kinds of techniques that have been banned in terms of torturing people. This is what they do at a place called Benghazi. We're going to paint this picture for the international community, guys. Everything we've been saying over the years, stand up to protect our democracy. Nobody has been doing it. The leaders that, were, that have been serving, former government officials, the only person as a member, as a government, as, 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 as a politician that has said something about LAJ is uh, Honorable Cherry Coco. You know, it's exposing these guys. We have to expose them. And Sierra Leoneans, when I tell you that we need another Truth and Reconciliation Commission, we need that. Because where Sierra Leone is going today, if anything happens right now, it's going to be worse than the rebel war we had. This In this 21st century, in this 21st century, these guys have the audacity to violate the rights of citizens like this. Yeah, they said the plastic emergency need for fly. From where you go, can we to the country to cry? And it's some way come the country, not the multiply. You should taxes the country, they bank cry. The harassment don't plenty. You should not get job done plenty. The stress the tormentary. Where I talk, I know so I go come for me. A little about town, I can't beat me. I know so I go come for, can't beat me. Why? Kill we go. There's our dog. Everything won't apply, things won't sell, and I will supply all things won't I say in a lie. Still with the cry, ministers not the comply of the way what's on our eye. Yo, you know they try. Yo, be yo, you know they try. And you know, like I said, um, this is for the international community. We're going to break this thing down. You see, for me, this is bigger than just LAJ, right? But the beautiful thing is, it is the LAJ saga. Because of the stardom of LAJ as, a, as an artist, right? A very powerful figure in Sierra Leone society. That is why this whole thing is gaining attention as it is gaining attention. But I want to take you guys back to what happened in McKinney. I want to take you guys back to what happened in Lonsar, Tombo, My Lighty One. I want to take you guys to what happened back at the Padembaro Prison Massacre. The whole time we've been calling for Sierra Leoneans and politicians and opposition leaders, members of parliament, to stand up. But nobody did. All we've been doing is giving out press releases. President Bio has been killing our people one after the other. So the whole thing about LAJ, this artist, now, this culminated from all of those killings. They've been getting away with it. They've been getting away with it. They've been getting away with it. So much to the point now. They think it's okay to dehumanize and violate the basic fundamental human rights of this individual. As an artist, his dreadlocks is his business. That is his money. That is his persona. That is what he stands for. But because he has been making songs, these guys felt so offended. And so they were looking for every way possible. The slightest opportunity. They've tried a couple of times. They've always wanted to pinch this picture of this guy like he's the most terrible person. He has a right. He has his right. Not everybody's going to be quiet. He has a right to move around freely. 
I'm going to play for you guys a video of a previous arrest. Some of the words that were said. So I want you to know how this thing built up. I'm not even going to get to the Omaru Vofana, but this again is the MCC, right? The MCC in Sierra Leone, Indehi Fatusisei, who's the country director. They will tell you, well, Indehi has nothing to do with this. And that is not true. Indehi should be able to say, you know what? The reports that is coming from Freedom House should be looked at. Guys, let me show you. Let me show you guys what I'm talking about, right? Sierra Leone. 2022 i want you guys to take a look at the civil civil rights political rights civil liberty i want you guys to take a look at that are you guys seeing this sierra leone is scoring 92 percent in political rights and 92 percent in civil liberty civil liberties this is what i want you guys to pay attention to right on the screen here i want you guys to see it they killed the people at McKinney. They killed at Lozar. I don't want to put those videos because this is about LAG. I don't want to go too much out, right? But let me show you guys how long this thing has been going on for. For the SLPP police and President Bion knows about these things. That is why he's running around, running crazy, going to Dubai, inspecting a stadium over there for the World, World Cup of 2022. What does that have to do with bettering, you know, for the betterment of Sierra Leone? Going around looking at Qatar. We have a stadium that was built since 1979. This man has never thought about building another stadium in four years. But he's parading in Dubai because you know why? He knows the people are outraged right now. And he's a coward. So he does not want to be in the country. If anything happens, at least he's out of the country. That is why he's running around. And now the SLPP police and every one of I see these guys on social media, even some artists, they are putting out songs against LAJ. At a time like this, when they should look at the, the dehumanization of this man, the fact that his right was violated, he was not a convict. I want the international community to understand this man was not a convict. But before I go too much deeper into this, I'm going to play some of these videos that I'm talking about. What has culminated to all of this? How did we get here? That's the fundamental question. How did we, did we get here? Watch this video. Madabio. That is LJ for you. That is the artist. And I want you guys to know that is his creativity. He is singing about President Bio. It is his right. You know, former President Tijan Kaba made it very clear. He said, instead of these artists or young boys and men and women going to the bush to take up arms like Ali Kaba did, let them sing. And that was how we had people like the Emerson Bokaris. That's how the Emerson Bokaris came into the picture. They were singing. Everybody was singing freely. And the same thing happened again with former President Koroma. They allowed everybody to sing. SLPP was protesting across the country. They can do whatever they wanted to do. Nobody arrested anybody. Nobody's rights was violated. So for them to arrest LAJ and take him to a, a torturing chamber, I want the international community to understand. And the reason why I keep saying this, the State Department's report on human rights, you guys know what I'm talking about. Torture is part of what is actually happening in Sierra Leone. People are being tortured. People are being tortured. So LAJ made it very clear, showed it very clear. And let me show you guys what I'm talking about. This is the press release from the police. On screen, this is the press release from the police. Making it clear that at this particular facility and this is why i want the state department to pay attention the american ambassador to pay attention right the american government to pay attention uk and Sierra Leone, european union these are the technical areas i want you to pay attention to because look at this we have a whole facility that is operating on, on its own sop totally against the constitution of Sierra Leone one and against the standards of the actual police force in Sierra Leone. So we have a whole other section of the police force that has its own operating standards. It is a torture chamber. It is a torture chamber. That is what President Bio is doing to Sierra Leoneans today. And from this Benghazi place, they've killed hundreds if not thousands of people from that place. 